Okay, so a lot of you have been asking me how to install a virtual audio cable for TeamSpeak. Well, I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to do so. I'll supply a download link in the description. Once you guys have the download complete and extracted, you'll have this folder here. The contents will be showing this. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the installation. If you have a 32-bit, use the normal setup. I've got a 64, so I'm going to use this one here. Run it. Yes, you want to continue and accept to the terms of service. Install. Okay, now that it's done, you will now be able to play all of your sounds through a virtual audio cable. If you get an error saying that you cannot install it because of your drivers not being digitally signed, you'll need to go back to this folder here and follow these instructions that I give you on installing the system. It's quite simple. Since it worked for me, you will now be able to right click on your sound icon in your taskbar and click playback devices. You will then see your virtual audio cable has been installed as well as for your recording. Now to use this in TeamSpeak, what you need to do first is pull up your TeamSpeak, click on settings and then click on identities. You need to create a new identity, let's just call it music, and then your nickname will be music or whatever you want to name it. Click OK. I've already created my digital bot, so I'll be using that for the tutorial today. And then you need to go into your settings and then options. We need to create a new profile. So click on add under playback. Name it music. Copy from default. Click OK. Now you're going to want to select your music profile. Click any playback device that you don't use. I don't use digital audio. And what this will do is it'll make it to where you don't hear others through your music bot. I use my headset. I use my speakers. So what you want to do is apply. I've already got my music player here, so I'm going to discard it. And then for your capture, you're going to do the same thing. Add a new one. Name it music. Copy from default. Click OK. And then what you're going to want to do here for your music player, I'm going to change it to the line one, which is a virtual audio cable. Click on advanced options if you don't already have it opened. Remove the remove background noise. And some people have this automatically checkmarked. You're going to want to uncheckmark everything here. And you're also going to want to set up um, voice activation. Move to about minus 30 to pick up your music. Hit apply. Again, I've already done that, so I'm going to discard that. All right, now you need to open up your bookmark manager in TeamSpeak, so click on Bookmarks, Manage Bookmarks. You'll see my bookmark has already been made for Digital Burst, which I have the IP address, my nickname, my identity for my default, and my capture and my playback, as well as for my default. What you need to do is right click on it and hit duplicate. I've already done so. Add music bot to the end of it, that way you are sure which tab will be opened up for your music bot. Put in the address, put in your music bot name, use the identity for your music bot, capture for your music player, and then playback for your music player. And then click OK. Now you are completely set up for your music bot. All you will need to do then is open up your bookmarks, right click on the bookmark you have for the music bot, and open that in a new tab. You will then be able to have two different clients in the same server, that way you will be able to hear what music you're streaming. I need to open up Winamp. Once you have Winamp open, you're going to want to right click and go into your options and preferences. You're going to want to click on your output and then your direct sound output, double click on it. You'll see that it's currently set up for my primary sound driver, which is my speakers. I'm going to change that to my line one virtual audio cable, and then click OK and close. Now, when I'm connected in TeamSpeak under my music bot, 
and my voice activation is currently active, any time that I play through my Winamp, through line one virtual audio cable, it will play through TeamSpeak. Now that you have that set up, and you will be able to play music through your TeamSpeak, if you want to back out of your music bot and just listen to music normally, again, right click, go into options, preferences, output, direct sound output, click on the option here, and then change back to primary sound driver. Okay, and then close. That will bring it back to your speakers or your headset or whatever you have default. All right, that's how you want to play music through your WinApp through TeamSpeak. Now you can do the same thing with playing YouTube videos. What you want to do is right click on your sound icon in your taskbar, click on playback devices. What you're going to want to do then is change your default. I'm using my headset. I'm going to change it to my virtual audio cable. I'm going to select as default and my recording. I'm going to select that as my default as well. Now what that'll do is, since my music bot is set up to play virtual audio cable, what it'll do, it'll stream any music that goes into your computer. Now this will also do system sounds, chatting sounds, or like I said, a YouTube video. Um, clearly only the audio will be streaming. Now if you want to change back, just simply change your default settings back. Keep in mind, if you do have your settings for the YouTube videos, you must have your TeamSpeak settings for your playback set up for your speakers or your headset. You cannot use default in that case because it would just continuously play back through your virtual audio cable and you won't be able to hear it on your regular client. Now keep in mind that with the virtual audio cable, sound will be transmitting at 100% volume. So in your Winamp or on your YouTube videos or whatever music you're streaming, you're going to want to change the volume on that specific client. For example, on Winamp, you're going to want to change your volume to around 0 to 20%, no higher. Sometimes it'll cause distortion. Sometimes it plays clearly, but most of the time it causes distortion and it's just bad quality. Well, that's pretty much the setup for your virtual audio cable. If you have any other questions, just add comments below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.